Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and brief review video and I'll sh unboxing the Dirt Devil Scorpion Quick Flip Corded Hand Vac and also I'll do a testing after unboxing the vacuum cleaner. Now according to the manufacturer this one has 7 amp motor and it can actually uh, pick up uh, messes like sand and pebbles. So I don't have sand and pebbles here to test it. However, I'll try to test with uh, sugar, coffee, and uh, beans. So we'll see that if it can pick up those. And if it can, then most likely it will be able to pick up everyday messes you would usually have in your home or condo. So we'll do that testing. So let's start with the unboxing. And I, I would like to mention that uh, this is not a promotional or uh, any affiliated uh, unboxing. I paid this with my own money. So this is just an unboxing to show you how this thing works and how is it. Okay, so we'll start with opening this box. So this is the how the box looks like. Uh, the box looks pretty big, but I believe once you open it, then this is going to be actually uh, a small vacuum, hand vacuum. It shouldn't be this big as the box. So let's take a look here. Okay, so it, it tells you that uh, practical design for everyday messes, simple dirt disposal with the quick release dirt cap. So it, it is bagless, there is no uh, bag to change or back to buy which is a good thing and then we have the same things on this side so we can go ahead with uh, opening the box I'll... so we have a manual or instructional manual and then uh, there's a product registration card I'll set this aside for now and then the instruction manual just tells you uh, how to set it up and everything. So I'll put it away. I'll, usually whenever I buy anything, I the first thing I try not to read the instructions uh, instruction manual. I just try to do it without reading anything. And then if I can't, then I look at the instruction manual. Just put it here. And looks like uh, we have a cord here, and this is the suction tube. And we'll take it out here, and then inside the box. Okay, so there's another piece which is attachment, which is to go with the suction tube. And then I'll put it here for now. So the box is empty here. And I'll set it aside. And let's take this out of here. Okay, they fell. It's okay. And okay, so here's the vacuum cleaner. It's actually not that light, a little bit heavy, but it's not very heavy, so it's okay. Uh, and this is how it looks like up here. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll set up the uh, testing area and then I'll come back to this video and then we'll, I'll show you how this works in terms of cleaning up messes. Okay, just give me a few minutes and I'll be back. Thank you. Hello everyone, so I set up the test environment and I'm back, but before I do the testing, I'd like to show you some of the accessories or features. So this thing right here, uh, which came in the box, uh, this is actually a shoulder strap. So I don't see any use of this because uh, if you are 
inside the house then you don't really need you know to put it on your shoulder but if you would like then you have that option so this came along with the other accessories and then we have here uh, the suction uh, tube and uh, you can attach this one uh, right here and you can use it as a separate attachment so the way it's gonna work you put it in here and then you can just you know uh, do it like this but I'll not be using that way I just uh, you know would like to use the direct way so this is just to show you and then here is uh, the hand vac so the way it works you can you have to you can just clean it like this like this way or if you want it has reverse tool attached to the unit so what it means that you just open it and then you uh, put it uh, insert inside ins and then you can just do it this way as well so it works uh, this way if you'd like to do fine uh, cleaning a uh, very tiny stuff or if you just like to do in the corner or something like that then you can use this a tool which is attached to the unit and then you can have to just you have to just fold it back here now I'll just turn off the power uh, to uh, show you the uh, so you can hear the sound of this uh, it s sounds very powerful for example right here So without even testing it, I have a feeling that uh, this is going to be a very powerful one. So I have here coffee beans, and then I have here a little sugar, and I have here uh, just uh, dry beans. And I'll just see if this can pick them up completely without leaving any residue or any leftover. I have a feeling that it will be able to do the job by the noise of it or by the sound of it, but let's try. Okay. It is completely gone so I believe this really can pick up pebbles or sand or anything so it's the mess I had here coffee beans sugar and dry beans they're completely gone and there's no leftover there's no nothing so this actually works well now the thing is uh, to see that you know how many years it can last the reason I prefer corded uh, hand vac rather than cordless hand vac because in the past I had uh, a corded uh, cordless hand vac what happens after one year or eight months or ten months the battery dies down and then the whole unit becomes inoperable so you have to just buy another one or it could be that I had bad luck so I stopped buying anything uh, cordless the reason I like corded because you don't have to worry about the battery or anything it, you'll be able to use it as long as this thing lasts so that concludes our testing and unboxing uh, thank you for watching please subscribe and like what you see and there will be more videos coming up but there will be different types of videos uh, if you have been watching my channel you know that I don't do just one type of video all the time so there will be a variety of videos and thank you for watching